One day, Jesus was in his hometown of Nazareth. He went into the synagogue, the Jewish place of worship. It was the tradition to read from the Holy Scriptures, the Jewish Bible. Jesus opened the book of the prophet Isaiah and read from it. The Spirit of God is upon me. He has chosen me to bring good news to the poor, to set the prisoners free, and to tell everyone that God has not forgotten us. Then he closed the book. Everyone waited to hear what he had to say about what he had read. These things written by the prophet are happening here and now, he said. The people were waiting for a person they called the Messiah, a person who would free the Jewish people from the oppression of the Romans by God's power. Jesus was clearly saying that he was this person they had been waiting for. But his listeners started to get suspicious. Isn't that Joseph's son? They said. We've known him since he was a little kid. How could the Messiah be an ordinary person like him? Jesus continued, When a prophet, a messenger of God, speaks to the people in his hometown, it's no surprise when they don't listen to him. Wasn't that also the case for Elijah, one of the most famous prophets of all? When there was a famine in Israel, no one helped him. He had to live with a widow in another country to survive. This was too much for his listeners. They were furious. They grabbed Jesus and took him out of the synagogue to a cliff where they wanted to throw him down. But Jesus just walked through the angry mob and left, and no one dared to touch him. One day, Jesus went up on a hill to talk to God for a while. When he returned, he chose 12 of his friends and called them apostles. He split them up into groups of two and sent them on a journey. Don't take anything with you, he said. No money, no food, no extra clothes. Go into the cities and villages in Israel and tell the people everything I've taught you. Tell them that God's new kingdom is here. I give you the power to heal people from their sicknesses and to set them free from evil spirits. Stay with the people that welcome you in their towns. If a town does not want you, don't stay there, but move on to the next. And so the apostles did what Jesus had said. Everywhere they went, they healed the sick, cast out demons, and explained to the people what Jesus had taught them. When they returned to Jesus, they were thrilled and told him everything that had happened. Jesus was happy as well, and he said, These things are great, but the true reason you should be happy is that you have found God and will live forever with him because you have received eternal life through me. King Herod heard about Jesus and how people were saying amazing things about him. Some thought Jesus was John the Baptist, who had come back to life. Herod had once arrested John because John told him it was wrong to marry his brother's wife, Herodias. Herodias was angry and wanted to kill John, but Herod protected him because he knew John was a good man. One day, at Herod's birthday party, Herodias' daughter danced for him. Herod was so pleased that he promised her anything she wanted. She asked for John the Baptist's head, following her mother's wish. Though Herod was sad, he had to keep his promise. So, John was beheaded, and his head was given to the girl, who gave it to her mother. John's followers later buried his body. One day, Jesus was preaching to a lot of people. In the evening, he took a short break and talked to his friends, the disciples. He told them, The people need to eat something. I want you to give them food. They started to think, There are more than 5,000 men here, even without counting women and children. We could buy bread, but that would cost us a fortune. It would be better just to send them away. One of the disciples had found a boy that still had five small loaves of bread and two fish. That's all right, Jesus told them. He took the bread and the fish, thanked God for it, and told his disciples to spread it out to the people. And as they did this, they miraculously did not run out of food. Everybody ate and was satisfied. After that, the disciples collected 12 baskets filled with leftover bread. 
One day, the friends of Jesus, the disciples, crossed a river. Jesus stayed behind to talk with God. When it became night, a storm appeared. The disciples could hardly keep the boat from sinking. Then they saw what looked like a person coming towards them on the water, and they were terribly afraid. Look at that! What is that? That must be a ghost! Don't be afraid, the person said. It is me. Then they recognized that it was Jesus walking towards them on the water. Peter was amazed. Jesus, let me walk towards you on the water. Jesus invited Peter out, and he got out of the boat and started to walk towards Jesus on the water. But when Peter saw the waves, he got scared and started to sink. Jesus, help me, he cried. Jesus took his hand, and they both got back into the boat. Why do you still have so little faith? he asked Peter. While he was still talking to them, the storm calmed, and they were ready to cross over to the other side of the lake.